Hello and thank you for viewing the informational webinar for the Montgomery County Solid Waste District's Recycling Incentive Grant. The purpose of this presentation is to inform applicants of the purpose of the grant, grant goals, application process, and reimbursement process and timeline. My name is Jamie Shepard. I'm the Education Program Specialist for Montgomery County Solid Waste District. The coordinator for the Montgomery County District Incentive Grant is John Minear, Education and Outreach Manager for the District. His contact information for questions regarding the grant will be on the last slide of the presentation. Montgomery County Solid Waste Management District, also referred to in grant material as the district, has established a grant application designed specifically for local communities, which includes municipalities, townships, villages, park districts, and 501c3 nonprofit organizations. The purpose of the District Incentive Grant is to promote and encourage waste reduction and reuse, recycle right education, and organics recovery, as well as increase recycling and promote recycling education and outreach in Montgomery County communities. All member communities of the Montgomery County Solid Waste District are eligible for this grant. Nonprofit 501c3 organizations and park districts located within a member community are also eligible. Eligible organizations must submit a letter of an endorsement from the district member community where the organization is located. All applicants must be eligible to register as a vendor with Montgomery County. Vendor applications can be found on the county website and must be completed before grant reimbursement can be made. This is a matching grant. The grantee is required to demonstrate a 30% match with the district contributing up to 70% of the total project cost. Eligible uses for grant funds include waste reduction and reuse. This includes practices that reduce waste generated by your community or organization, as well as community partnerships with organizations such as Habitat for Humanity, Goodwill, St. Vincent de Paul, and other similar organizations. Recycle right campaigns and community recycling programs, including expanded community drop-off locations for materials such as cardboard and styrofoam. Organics programs such as community food waste drop-off sites and new brush collection programs. Projects that simulate the market for recycled content material, also known as buy recycled projects. These include the purchase of recycled rubber mulch and recycled content playground equipment and park benches. While buy recycled projects are eligible for funding under the district incentive grant, they are of lower priority to the district and will be ranked below projects that capture material not previously recycled or projects that focus on public education, such as recycle right. More detailed information on eligible uses for funding can be found in the application packet. Ineligible expenses include entertainment, travel and lodging, over-the-road vehicles, land acquisition, and personnel costs, including consulting, grant writing, and staff hours. A downloadable application is available at www.mcswd.org. Completed applications can be submitted by email to John Minear. No hard copy application is necessary. Completed applications must include a vendor quote for any requested purchases detailed scoring criteria, as well as district priorities for funded projects, is listed in the application packet. All grants must include plans for permanent signage stating the source of the funding. Cost for signage is the responsibility of the applicant. This is a reimbursement grant and copy of, of all invoices for grant approved expenses as well as proof of payment in the form of a copy of the front and back of a cleared check must be submitted in order to be reimbursed. Requests for reimbursement must be submitted by the last day of October of the grant funding year. A final project report will be due no later than the first week of December of the grant funding year. The report must include photos of the completed project. Please refer to instructions in the application packet for submission of the final project report. This is a very general timeline. Please refer to the application packet for specific deadlines. The grant will be open on the first Monday in June with applications due to the district on the last Friday in July, no later than 2 p.m. Again, applications can be submitted via email to John Minear 
no hard copy application is necessary. Applicants will be notified of awards 15 days after the completion of the grant reviews. If you have any questions regarding the district incentive grant or would like to discuss project eligibility, please contact John Muneer, Community Outreach and Education Manager. Thank you for viewing the informational webinar and we look forward to your application.